What a Pokemon piece, how are you doing? Oh, Bugsy's coming to say hi. I had a kind of a story to tell you about what was at the time the UP's first TB sanitarium. It was called the A. Cox Medical Center at Morgan Heights. And it was built in 1911. And it had, at the time, two small brick buildings with, you know, white porches. But in 1915, there was an addition of another um, building that would allow at least three patients to stay there while receiving treatment for tuberculosis. And at the time, it would take years, you know, all the treatment. And then, going forward... 1927, there is yet another addition added to the grounds, and that was the superintendent's cottage, and it was said to be a bigger house, and supposedly, as far as I know, standing today. But, in 1931, they, the hospital was sued for medical malpractice. I'm not kidding you. And the suit said, it was, the reason why it was being sued it was excuse you it was found that a drainage tube went missing or disappeared and more likely caused the death of a patient so going forwards the building was later renamed the Alcox Medical Facility and the hospital would go on to lose its license because it didn't really have a lot of the things required at the time to do more progressive uh, treatments and after, after seeing vacant for for a while and in 1995 the building was sold to a local property developer for $120,000. Who would, um, here, bought, like I said, in the residence of the director's cottage and the nurse's dorm at the time were still standing and converting their rental homes. But, one story says, um, in 2002, the former Morgan Heights Hospital building was torn down. So, the main building was torn down. But, over the years, there have been reports and sightings of, well, ghosts. The one of the ghosts have been of the person that was tragically killed by said drainage by doctors leaving said drainage tube in losing it who knows uh i would say so um let's see here stories have been going around for years one of them is this a uh, local doctor who at the time her and her family moved into the residence and she said the building was beautiful, you know, they were so excited, but unfortunately, this place is not meant for them. It, it wasn't the best place. No, it was her, her husband, and two kids for her and six at a time. And she said she would hear, she didn't think anything of it, but she would hear noises at like four and five in the morning. And she's like, no, uh, she would just brush off as kids. You know, but yet, she, when she go check on the, her kids or husband, whatever, it'd be asleep. But she would hear the noises. So, other one was, the noises were going up and down the stairs. And, let's see here. And this person said she, says she does not believe in ghosts didn't really think anything of it at the time. 
but until more strange things started happening, like when they would come home, the tea would be turned on, but she would also explain away that as saying the cats have been remote. Okay. And then she would. But there was really one. There was a place in the kitchen that no matter if it was how warm it was, how cold it was, no matter if it was winter, summer, fall, or spring, the temp, it would always have that cold spot. Always. And also, it wasn't just her hearing noises and experiencing it. Her husband and the babysitter as well have heard it and her husband has had a strange experience which to this day he doesn't talk about and not that I can't really blame him but after they moved out um actually no the name her neighbors when she was living there she'd see you know she'd say oh there's been cars going up and down driving all around and her neighbors would tell her of the hospital had had its own morgue and crematorium and it were accessible via underground tunnels which as far as I know has been blocked off using a cement wall. <laughs> but at the time wasn't. Like I said, this story's kinda effed up. So anyway, um This person went on to say that one day someone's dogs got trapped in the tunnels and you could hear them barking through the living room floors. And in the winter you could see where the tunnels were just by the snow melt, the way the snow would melt, melts differently on both sides. And she would just comment and say the property itself was strange, you know. And they have soon, they have, uh, moved. And, uh, she went and heard another story told her by a, a tenant who said that she saw a man in a red, um, flannel in the, in the basement when she was doing laundry. But she said to this day, it took her, it took us two years to decide on the ghost. And she, she also goes on to say it. she knew it was real. I have another story for you. A friend of mine's mom used to work there. And one day she, you know, she would, one of her responsibilities is to show, bring uh, bodies down to the crematorium in the morgue using the tunnels. Well one day or one one of the times she would her one of her favorite patients would pass away. And she would continue to see this patient in her robe, her fluffy robe in slippers, just wandering around. No creepy? Uh yeah. I say so. And like I said, this is just some of the stories. There's more, I'm sure. You know. <laughs> but yeah, what do you guys say? You think it's true? You believe in ghosts? I know I do. I've had many experiences with them. Um. Okay. Uh. Think. I want to thank you for joining me. Um. If you came this far in the story. Um. Uh, I love you. So, if you want, give this video a thumbs up. It helps you know that you guys like this type of stories and 
Over time, it will help me get better with reading and whatnot. It's a little less boring. Um, also, if you haven't already, if you hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you hit the subscribe button, you can be part of the Grumpy Pokemon group. And, yeah, um, share this video, comment on this video, down below, on all social media, all my social media junk will be down below, as well as, as the sources I came across, um, yeah, love you guys so much, thank you once again for hanging out with me and the Grumpy Pokemon over here, who's chilling out, Joini. So anyway, I love you guys. Stay safe. Don't be afraid of the dark.